We've made it to Wednesday and we're gonna bench press today. We're going to do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five sets of bench press here, resting 90 seconds between each one. It's gonna be a little wave. We've got one set of five at 75%, one set of four at 80%, one set of three at 85%, and we're gonna drop it down slightly. One set of four at 82%, and then finish with one set of five at 77%. So. If you don't know your max bench press, that's okay. You're just gonna build a little bit and then drop a little bit as you go. Whenever we do our bench press, our setup is gonna start with our eyes directly below the bar. We're gonna wiggle our feet in as close as we can, making sure that we can push down into the ground. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. This is gonna cause a little space between the low back and the bench, which is totally fine, okay? Main goal, push through the feet. You're gonna grab just outside the knurling of the bar, extend straight over the center of your chest, control the way down, little kiss of the sternum, and then press straight back up over the center of your chest. Okay, so control, touch, press. As the weight gets heavier, if you do wanna have a spotter, that's totally fine. They can help you off of the rack, and if you start to miss, they can help you pick it up. But if you are spotting, please make sure that you do not touch the bar until the bar starts to go back down or you, the person bench pressing says, help me, okay? Sometimes they'll start fighting through it and if you grab the bar from them too soon, it, the rep doesn't count and that always sucks. So make sure you communicate with your partner and have fun. Time for conditioning. Today we're gonna do four rounds. You have 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest and we're gonna cycle through four different movements. Our first one is gonna be strict pull-ups. Then we're gonna do as many calories on the bike as we can, followed by max dumbbell bench press, and then finish it out with an L-sit on the parallettes, which would be super fun and challenging. Um, couple cues on the strict pull-ups. First of all, if you can't achieve full range of motion, feel free to use a band. We always wanna focus on full range of motion, which is gonna be straight arms at the bottom, chin over the bar at the top, okay? No bro reps. Make sure you're going all the way down, all the way up every time. Now, one of my biggest pet peeves on the strict pull-up is when people start to pull and their feet go behind them and they're in this arched position, okay? That's not gonna translate over into more advanced skills and it's just gonna cause some bad habits. So really make sure you're maintaining your hollow body position the whole time. Toes stay in front of you. Think about pulling the rib cage back as you pull yourself up. So we've got our dead hang at the bottom. Toes stay in front, chin over the bar all the way back down as opposed to uh, pulling up like that, okay? Not ideal. Toes in front, all the way up, all the way back down, okay? Rest is needed in that 90 seconds, but the goal is to get as many reps as possible. You'll, oh, sorry, 40 seconds, only 40 seconds. Um, then we're gonna rest 20 seconds, head over to the bike. It's a sprint, 40 second bike sprint. How many calories can you get? Then we're gonna go over to the dumbbells on the bench, same form we talked about with the barbell, feet down, shoulder blades in, dumbbells extended over the center of the chest. You're gonna lower all the way down, all the way up every time. And then our last movement is gonna be that L-sit on the parallettes. Whenever you're setting the distance of the parallettes, I like to go fingertip to elbow, okay? So you're gonna put your elbow on one side, fingertip on the other side, and that's gonna give you a good distance. Ideally, we're gonna lock out the elbows, push down through the shoulders, and lift the legs up so they maintain above 90 degrees. If this starts to get too challenging, you can tuck one knee or tuck both knees, but try your best not to let your feet touch the ground for the full 40 seconds. Okay, four rounds, how many reps can you get? Okay, our finisher today, we're gonna do some core and some dumbbell curls, okay? all those show muscles. So we've got three rounds, eight windshield wipers per side, 12 dumbbell hammer curls per side. For the windshield wipers, you're gonna lay down on your back, arms are gonna be out to the side, legs are extended. You're gonna lower your legs to the side, bring them back up to the center. Alternate to the other side, you're gonna get eight per side. If you need to scale it, you can tuck your knees and that's gonna make it a little bit easier, okay? Eight per side, then you're gonna grab your dumbbell, and we're gonna do 12 hammer curls per side. That's the one where the dumbbell comes straight up in front of you. You're gonna do 12 on one side and then 12 on the other side. Have fun.